It's finally happened, ladies and gentlemen. The Covet got a remaster. Look at this beautiful thing. Look at it. It's in all of its glory. Beautiful car. At least the hood in the interior first, which we're trying to open it. There's so many new features for this little Covet. Where is the hood button? Let's find it. Oh, there's the hood. <gasps> wow. The door is open. We can close it. Where's the hood button on the interior? another door it opens well wow. HUD release there we go HUD is released now we go into the outside view and we can pop the hood isn't that cool this is more more new features in the covet we can open the handles open the doors from the outside and close the doors from the outside we can pop the trunk what else what else is there on this brand new car let's check it out and all the new other features in tier point two six So as you guys might have noticed, um, this game looks a little different, and in a good, in a positive way. Um, 0.26 has added, with a, with the Covet Remaster, of course, it has added a lot of new features to the graphics, like motion blur. Look at this. This is, let me show you guys some, mer some motion blur here. Isn't that pretty cool? We were only going 50. If, we, if I get into a, a Chantilla, we'll get some more cool motion blur. Um, yeah, a very nice new Covet remaster. Awesome. Beautiful. Beautiful car. I love remasters for, for cars like this. Uh, again, PMNGII, still still bad as always. And that, that's not going to change. Let's try to jump the Covet defense. <laughs> To the right. Hut. <laughs> Stop the landing. Yeah. Good job, Covet. You did it. I'm driving to the outside of the house so you guys can see these beautiful graphics. We're loading to a, a different map here so we can show up the show. The, the AI car is actually park now. They'll pull into a parking spot, or they'll pull into a driveway, like in real life, and then they become stable objects until you hit them. Which so it is not it doesn't take as much memory as you think. So you can still have as many AI cars, but also have them parked. I'm surprised at how well this car drives. Driving around on this little track here is a pretty good practice. Ah! Driving a Covet is like it's very good practice for when I drive my Tiger 2 in War Thunder. <laughs> it's a tank. Come on, Covet. This thing can turn surprisingly well with all the damage done to it. Why is this Covet driving so well without like most of its parts? I feel like it's driving better than it normally would. Look at this, I'm drifting in a destroyed covet. I probably couldn't drift in a, in a normal covet. No, at least you couldn't do it in the old covet. Nice remaster, BMG. You made the covet too OP. Check the other track this time. This is just Rin drives a covet in circles for 20 minutes. Oh, we just skipped half of it. The track went absolutely nowhere.
still running. Laura, look at the motion blur. Oh, now the engine's dead. Dang, that's insane. Chantilla can't even hear it, so you guys can actually hear me without having to listen to the destroying engine sound of the bolide. Three, two, one. Dude, the engine sound on this thing is beautiful. The, the electric engine. Wow, look at this. Look at this motion blur. We look like we're going so freaking quick. Once. This is a little more realistic crash physics. Uh, other than the, other than the like void triangle following that um, piece of the car. Wow, man, look at this. The car like got car got like bent in half. What the heck? Like, what? Look at this. I want to see if I can. I I can almost like pull that off. Oh, I pulled it off. Yeah, look at that. Like half of the car. Just I just pulled it off. It's just over there. What? The, the pyro what charge? Everything is destroyed. The car is like a pancake. I want to see how fast we can go. Let's see how much motion blur we can actually trigger. We're going to back up and then... Alright, full speed. Full speed, baby. Here we go. Already 150 miles an hour. We're passing through 200 even at the end of the drag strip. We're gonna hit. We're hitting 244. 244 was our max speed. Wow, this car stayed very intact. Like, look at this. Look how intact it is. And then once, it's still pretty intact. And then the back might fall off, but no. Oh, e. Oh, did it? <laughs> it kind of did. Let's just flip the car. Now this looks like a maybe survivable crash, honestly. Like, I feel like maybe, just maybe, with every single bone in your body broken, if you had your seatbelt on, you would be dead, but, like, I, I don't know. I don't think you could survive this, actually. You know, mm, This thing actually stays together incredibly well. Why is there, like, look at that, there's, like, a bunch of beams back here that are the only thing holding the car together. Look at this pancake. Then there's just the birds singing in the background. Oh yeah, and also don't don't worry about the void triangle again. Yeah, that's just that's nothing to worry about. It's just one of the tires that like flew into the multiverse. Subscribe.